If you clicked on this image, this image or this image to click on this video and check this video out, just so you know, all of these images are created with AI and in this video, I'm going to show you how did I create this using one free AI tool, at least free for now and Canva, though for Canva, you might need to pay. So without any further ado, let's get into the tutorial and let me show you how you can create your own images with AI with character consistency. The tool that we are using is Flux Playground. You can go to this particular website, which is playground.dfl.ai. So I'll just open it in an incognito tab. There you go. There you go. And just continue with Google and you'll get to a tab that looks like this. Okay. Now, all you need to do is go to this generate tab. Okay. Where you can actually generate uh, an image. Okay. Now, what did I do? I actually shot an ugly picture of my own. So the ugly picture looks like this. But I'm just, I don't know what I was doing. Just don't ask me, okay? I'm just doing something. So, so all you need to do is just drag and drop it here and add a prompt, okay? We can say this character is lying on, uh, on a beach, enjoying the waters, touching him and sunbathing and everything. So this is fine. Like this is bad um, <laughs> prompt, but I hope this works. Now here in Flux.1 Context Pro, this is what you need to check. Okay. In the free version, you get about a thousand credits or 100 credits. So I'm not wrong. Okay. And 100 credits would mean 100 images. Now click on this three dot button. And in aspect ratio, select 16 is to 9 because we are creating uh, YouTube thumbnails. If you want to uh, create LinkedIn posts, you can go with 1 is to 1 or Instagram post, you know, you can create like 1 is to 1. Okay. Now output format is PNG. And if you want, you can turn this on. I don't know what this particular prompt upsampling up does. I don't want to know. Just hit enter. Okay. So since we are creating YouTube thumbnails, it will start creating those. Okay. Now, if you want to take more inspiration while it produces more uh, images, you can simply go to Google and, and just search for Instagram worthy pictures. Okay. Now with characters. What's the vacation? Vacation pictures. You can check something that would work for you. Okay, this, this looks great. So we can just copy this and go to chat GPT. And we can just right click copy, go to chat GPT. We can say, give me an image prompt to describe this image. Okay. Let it load and hit enter. So while it creates an image prompts, we'll go back to our flux and you can see, <laughs> there you go. I'm lying on a sunny beach. This looks so awesome. Now, if you want to make it even better, okay. Sunbathing, wearing a white shirt with his, uh, what do they call, ripped body visible and wearing a blue aviator. pair of blue aviator glasses and blue water. Let's see, instead of lying on a beach, floating on the ocean, <laughs> right? Let's go with this. Now here, uh, so it already creates joyful young woman on a luxury boat ride, arms wide open, pure blush. We can just copy this and while it creates uh, more images, we can tweak the prompt a little bit. We can say, instead of joyful young woman, we can say the character on a luxury boat ride. Da, 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 da. Texture green shirt. Um, perfect. We can just copy this and come back here. 
and just paste it here <laughs> look at that okay it also got my chair over here this looks great oh my god look at this i'll probably edit the thumbnail and create one thumbnail here look at my nips you can cut diamond with those all right so let's do this one and this is the final image that we'll be creating and then i'll show you how i how do we edit this on canva to make really awesome thumbnails okay so to really create those you can just go to canva right here um so these are the three thumbnails that i'm using right now you know what i'll delete this one i'll add the aviator glasses one so i love this particular image so we'll use this okay now canva is premium so you need to pay for canva i'm sorry <laughs> right flux is free i'm not paying anything to flux but canva is something that you need to create okay so this typical canva feature will be using first one is image upscaler so if you go to edit scroll down you'll find something called as image upscaler again it's only available in canva premium will upscale okay while it upscales we'll go back and see uh we got this i love this this particular image is looking really awesome Mm. this is also awesome see i love that earlier uh you know the ai images used to have this weird hand gestures but now it's all really good we go with this one let's say we'll create a thumbnail with this this looks very much similar to me and as you can see the character is very consistent it's the same exact face that we are using okay uh we can use this one download this image as well and then we'll go back to canva it's upscaled boom really awesome i'll add the rest as well the two that we just downloaded look at this okay and then another one which is this okay even here we'll use the same thing image upscaler so that it's upscaled the the image quality is not the best with flux free version hopefully in the paid version you get better uh, quality of image but you can always use canva upscaler it does a decent job okay there you go hit enter and you can see there you go awesome do the same thing here edit image of scalar there you go oh shit go back i created a different design all right i'll upscale this one i honestly don't like this image much but just for the sake of creating one we'll create one now before this i actually created two more images one is this and another one is this i like this one better because it's looking straight to the camera so i'll delete this and keep this now there is one more ai feature in canva that we'll be using so if you click on this image and go to edit and here you'll find something called as magic expand so it adds more room we'll click on whole page and expand over here this one is looking really hot <laughs> let's see i like this one the most okay this is really cool i don't like this very much to be frank so i'll delete this but this definitely we can use okay and again we'll go to magic expand whole page expand over here so it basically adds more material on the 
top sides there you go looks so good all right all right this is looking really awesome we can expand this a little bit so that it's not visible it's ai okay now we'll need to add our text which is like this this is not real so this is nothing but simple Canva text, right? And here I just need to change the effects from outline to lift. There you go. And the same thing here. As you can see, this is white on white. It's not very readable. And the arrow I need to flip. And do something like this. Now here, the background definitely is something we can make it a little bit more darker. So how do we do it? Just hit Control D, and then background remover so that I only have my my image like this. And then I'll crop it a little bit. I'll crop this a little bit. The background is already black; it's not white in color. So Canva Pros would know. And then this background, I would reduce the transparency a little bit, just slightly so that the text is visible. And then my own image, which is on the top, I will go to layers and bring it right above the main image. So there you go. This looks decent. Like this, okay? This is a great thumbnail, this is a great thumbnail, and this is a great thumbnail. <laughs> so we just created some really nice thumbnails and all of them were built with AI and real time, that too. And well, except Canva Pro, I didn't pay for anything, right? So try it out, try the Flux Playground. The link of this particular AI tool is gonna to be on the description and in the pinned comments. And obviously, you know, uh, obviously let me know what you think about this, okay? Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.